My name's Eric Lander. I'm here today with Jatai to do uh, a men's haircutting razor video. So just to give you a little bit of an insight into who I am and what I do, uh, I've been hairdressing and barbering for 32 years now. Uh, my mum was a hairdresser, my father was a barber. So when I was trained, uh, I did a five-year apprenticeship in both men's and ladies' hairdressing and traditional barbering. So again, this kind of gives me uh, a great scope to actually show both the longer men's razor cutting techniques today that we're going to be showing and covering there. We'll go quite in depth to explain to you everything about the tools that we're going to use and the benefits that they give us and also about the methods that we can adapt that into the current cutting styles that you already have. So this is my model Tyler um, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a, a full razor cut. Now we've gone through our consultation with Tyler and he kind of wants to keep quite a lot of the length of the hair on top. Now as you can see when we're looking at the hair, the hair itself is really quite naturally curly, quite a lot of wave movement to that. So um, the shape and style that we're going to be looking to achieve is he kind of likes to wear his hair a little bit more forward a little bit longer over that fringe area um, but because you can see here that the previous time that the hair has been cut what's actually happened is it's been cut with shears through here and you can see the difference um, of the actual texture of the hair and it's really quite heavy and quite blunt so this is where the razor comes in and gives us a much softer feel to the hair this will also help to remove a little bit of bulk and weight and as you can see this kind of it bevels around in this area so it's a little bit more round again we want to create a little bit of a sharper straighter feel to this um, so we will keep some of the length around here but we're going to be removing quite a lot of length on this sort of inside shape and around here because you can see that as we lift the hair out we've got quite a lot of excess length through here we also have a little bit of disconnection so you can see from the previous haircut there that we've got this would have been the shorter area underneath and then this longer through there and what it will do especially Especially with curly hair is it will mean that the actual hair separates and works it looks and separates differently so we're going to blend this in as I say we're going to soften through the kind of weight around the perimeter area of the haircut and we're actually going to be approaching this haircut very slightly differently to how normally you would probably approach a normal standard haircut and the reason is it's all about the concept of razor cutting so the tools that we're going to use today my razor that I'm going to be using is the feather flexion razor there is three types of blade uh, feather blade that come with this razor are used with it uh, and we'll go into a little bit more detail about the different types of blade uh, but the main one that we're going to be using is the standard blade which has got a very kind of uniformed amount of guard that protects the blade here and again there is a there is a right and wrong way to put the blade in depending if you're left-handed as I am or if you're right handed but we will cover that again a little bit later in the, the video so as we um, we're look, starting to look at the haircut now and one of the things that I want to do also is to protect the hair so as we're going to be cutting the hair uh, a lot of people tend to say or have an opinion that razor cutting on hair can be quite damaging and it can make the hair dry and brittle uh, and also it can cause the ends to split. Now in some instances this is the case and it all depends on the original condition of the, the hair that we start in. Is it heavily bleached? Is it over processed? And the general condition. The other part and the other factor which has an, a, a, a kind of cause of this is the condition of the blade and also the type of blade that you use. There is good and bad blades out there. Some are obviously you know, not quite as good, the, the, the sharpness of the blade, but with feather, you're guaranteed that you're gonna get that razor sharp blade all of the time. And again, with this point here, we need to make sure that the blade is sharp and also um, that the, the condition of the blade is good. So when we're working with it, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use um, blade glide. So this itself, it's got a leave-in conditioner in it and it will help to nourish the hair. Um, it helps to balance out the pH, but again, from the point of view of cutting here, uh, the pH value isn't gonna be too much of an issue for us. But through here, you can see that if you look at the hair already, this hair is starting to dry. So what this will do is it will keep the hair much more wetter as we're actually cutting through the haircut.
So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to thoroughly damp down the hair just to make sure that the hair is moist and wet all the way through. Now one of the things that we don't want is the hair to be dripping. Two reasons. One, we don't want it for client comfort and also um, it's just not as easy to use when we're actually working. The other thing that this will do is from a beneficial point for you is it will extend the life of your, your blade itself. So, okay, now normally as we're working through a haircut, one of the things that uh, we get trained to do is we get trained to section off and work in very neat methodical sections. The issue with this or the, the, the reason we're going to be breaking away from this today is A, we're working on, on a little bit more of a creative haircut and also with razor cutting, razor cutting is very different to cutting with shears or scissors. Uh, and the reason is that with a razor, we're working with a single blade. So this single blade will allow us to glide through the hair and we can work in much larger, bigger areas. So for instance, if I'm gonna be working through here on the fringe section, rather than me taking a section, for instance, like this, where we would maybe work that way and work up. And if we do this, because we've separated this area off through here, and we've also separated this area off because we're working with this panel, it will cause us to have to then blend this area with the previous and the next section. So we're gonna be working in a much more freehand kind of technique through here, and this will mean that as we soften through the haircut, that it actually works and diminishes through the layers. So obviously if we work and we start to cut on this top layer, once we've cut the top layer, that will come out of the way and we just basically work through and through and through. So this is quite a simple kind of approach to a haircut. And as I say, is very different to how people normally do it. We get trained and taught very regimented sections, patterns and techniques. This is much more creative and much more in tune with bringing out the benefits of working with uh, a razor itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is rather than section off and work with a particular area or panel, we are gonna comb everything straight down. So everything from where uh, the natural crown area is. So if I turn tile around, you can see through the back area, the crown area is more towards this side of the head. So we're just gonna be combing this down. And the reason is, this is the way that the hair is gonna be worn when, the, the, when he styles it himself. Now, as I'm combing the hair down to actually put it into the shape that I want to cut. There's a few things that I'm seeing here. Can you see how almost this area through from the crown to the occipital area looks almost one length? So as we turn this to the side and we elevate the hair out, again, you can see that we've got this top layer where the disconnection was, but then you can look and look at the shape all the way through here. So this is purely just excess length that that means the hair is going to be kind of quite long and quite bulky. So there's two shapes to a haircut. The first one is the inside shape, which is all of our layers and work on the inside part of the head. The second part of the, the haircut is our perimeter or our outside shape. So to simplify everything right down, we're going to be working initially with our outside shape and we're going to be softening, we're going to be shortening very slightly and we're also going to be texturizing. Once we have worked and created our perimeter length, we will then start to work on the inside shape. So that's how we're going to start. Okay, so we've gone through and we've used the blade glide just to make sure that the hair is still moist and damp and ideal for razor cutting. So as you can see, we've combed everything straight forward. Now, one of the things that I'm seeing with the existing haircut is that we're a little bit shorter in these sort of temple stroke parietal areas on both sides. You can see this. We've got this length down there, so I kind of want to keep this, but we're a little bit longer through that front area. So we're gonna be removing a little bit of the thickness, a little bit of the length. You can see through here where we've got this excess length on the front area. So we're gonna be evening this up. And what this will do, by shortening the front, 
and leaving these two temple areas, it means that it will bring it more into balance to give us that right sort of shape. So we're gonna be shortening through here. We're also gonna be thinning this fringe area. I want to try and remove some of that thickness and bulk. It will allow the hair to soften and glide and swing a little bit better. We're still gonna keep these softer areas. And again, this is a great point to kind of look at. Look at the difference here when we look at the density and darkness of the hair in that point there. Or we can look at it in this point here and so on. You can see the thickness um, as we kind of comb all the way down. But when we come to the side areas, look at the difference in the density here. And it's not that the hair is more dense or less dense in some areas. It's the fact that this part of the haircut um, here comes all the way down, whereas here it's more layered, so it's shorter. And this is the kind of thing that we're trying to, the sort of effect that we're looking to achieve with the razor to give us that softness and texture all the way through. So we're going to start, okay, just very slightly that way, that's great. So you can start this in any order you want to. We are choosing to start here because we're gonna be wearing it across the way and we're gonna work all the way around to the middle area in the back and then we're gonna come from here and we're gonna work around back into the middle area at the back. We have a starting point and a finishing point. The starting point can be the back to the front or the front to the back. Again, it really doesn't make any difference. You just need to make sure that you make sure you do all of the perimeter edge.